hello. Did y'all figure out who the adoption is for? Vern behaves himself all the time. At least that's what he tells us. I told, I told her. <laughs> Yeah. Only wet on my chest here. Yeah. <laughs> and he's very, very sorry. No, he right? laughs. No, he's he not. Oh. Yeah. Manville is such a baby. He's really, really pretty good with the kitties. He can't help it once in a while he gets out of control, but most of the time he's awesome. Hmm? The kitties go Yeah, out of and the kitties go for him, to him. Hello, Dawn. Happy Mother's Day to everybody and uh, all those of you that have kitties or ki doggies or even a fish, you're a mama. So happy Mother's Day. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, Sonia. Uh oh, hey, hey, hey. Little ones. Jeez. Hey, Look at him I'm one of your better volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, let me go see if the person's here. Thank you, Shin. Let me go see. Oops, there's somebody. Who is it? Is that that? Morning, Hi, Richie. How are you? I'm doing great. Can I take this out to the chickens? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I went out there, and that was my excuse to go out and, and she forgot. you know. And you forgot and the I chicken did. I food. I forgot my excuse. Well, I thought you were going to say there's no chicken. <laughs> well, no, I, you know, that was my reason to go out. Hi, Karina. Well, and happy Mother's Day. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you from both of us. I'm All right. Too, but... Yeah, <laughs> we'll take it though, right? <laughs> well, hello, Gracie. Mm, here's Gracie. Everybody loves Gracie. Gracie's been asking and asking and asking to be adopted lately. She's been in everybody's face, in everybody's hand. She says someday, somewhere, there's a person going to walk in here and appreciate her and going to adopt her. Isn't she beautiful? Look at that gold stripe up her nose. Clear up to her forehead. So someday, somebody's going to adopt her. I just know it. And then we have Kiara, who has it been who has been adopted a few times and made such a fuss at her to be homes that she was brought back because she was so utterly sad. Are you the one gonna be adopted? No. What about this one? Is it Coralie? Huh? Coralie could do good in a home if they had enough rugs right. left out. <laughs> if they had rugs and towels left out. <coughs> she says, why, why dirty a litter box to make you work? So, she's so kind. And she's so wonderful. She's, she's so, so giving. Kind of her. It is. And we love her. Is she the adoption? <laughs> no, it's not Coralie. <laughs> is it our Asha? <laughs> oh, we had Mudgy worried. <laughs> Could it be Asha? Asha, Asha, Bobasha? Well, if you got a sneeze in that nose, let me rub it out. Asha says, I could maybe be adopted. I always use the litter box. She always wants some loving. Do you want to be adopted? Yes? No, no, no. She says, no, no. No, she says, See, I'm sne I got a sneeze. I'm sick. I need to stay here. Okay, you don't have to fake a sneeze. You get to stay. Honey, uh. How about Pania? <laughs> Actually, Pania is kind of already adopted by Auntie Napa. Pania says, I'm already adopted. Auntie Napa has me pegged. Besides, who would holler at me in boxes if it was nap if it wasn't for Pania? <laughs> Name though, you backed off. I'm so proud of you. Oh, 
And maybe, maybe it's you, you Mr. King boy. Mm -hmm. You know, he is up for adoption and he should be adopted. Is today the day? He says, whoever or wherever I go, they have to have kitties so I can play and be Gramp, kind of your, kind of an uncle, uncle big boy. He says, I teach him how to play. But it's not his turn yet. He says, somebody's gonna walk in that door sometime and say, that's the cat I want. So for today, it's not Pania. Or excuse me, today it's not Manville. He will get adopted though, I'm quite sure. Right on. Happy Mother's hey, Day. Hey, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good. I'm gonna, I'll be in in a minute. Okay. Okay. I, I saw Gracie's picture yesterday, that was cute. Oh yeah. Could it be Vernon? Yeah. Does Auntie Sonia say it's okay? What do you think, Sonia? Well, in reality, he can't go because, why? Do you wanna tell him or should I tell him? He's not even embarrassed. He doesn't always use the litter box. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, your Auntie Sonia would be all over me. Isn't it wonderful how, wonderful how so many of them have their special persons? All right. Oh, whoop, whoop. Mm. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. How about Papa? Do you remember when he came in? He was nothing but a bag of bones. Had spent years in a cage. Didn't know how to play. Short, short fur. And now he's he's kind of a hunk. And he loves everybody. And he's never been in a pen since then. And look at this fur. I mean, it's long. Is it you? Do you get to go? Papa says, no, I have to be Papa Grandpa of all the kitties here. Besides, he's 12, and he has a pretty significant heart murmur. And, you know, he led such a different way of life for cats before he came. So he has to stay. Yeah, we need him to be Papa. Vernon's climbing up. He's saying, are you sure it's not me? Vernon, you're gonna, oh, oh, there we go. All right, who is, it? oh, there we go, here's the boy. How about Spiker? Do you use the litter box 100%? He says almost, does that count? Could you go? Do you, no? You think you could be brave enough to go? No? He's shaking no. Remember, he was tried once. Yeah, and he fell apart. Did he? I just never knew why. <laughs> he says, I did not like it. Besides, he too doesn't use the box 100%. <laughs> Isn't he handsome? Besides, if he went, he'd have to take his couch. And I think. Um, that probably wouldn't fit in most places. <laughs> no, no, no spiker. He says, but I'm pretty awesome. Okay, come here. You got an earring itch. How about Mowgli? Okay. We are adopting Mowgli. This is the this is the adoption girl. Yes. And I'm actually adopting Mowgli. Yes. She says, <laughs> look at you. 
Look at you, little sassafras. Look at you. Yeah, I'm going to be Mowgli's official mama. Y'all know, <laughs> y'all know that Mowgli is not going to be here for a long, long time. We all know about her cancer. And yep, she's a Mowgli moss. And I love her. And should she go tomorrow or should she go in a month? The whole thing is I want her to know she has a really, really good mama to care for her. And I love her so much. So I told Steve this morning, we have another cat. He says, oh, okay, is she going to be in here or out there? <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> so Mowgli's going to be an official Mowgli Moss. And uh, she's had a long, long story here. And uh, when she arrived here, we initially put her weight or her age down as four. But we have since found that she's probably at least twice that old. And that's coming from the people who was neighbors of the people of the lady who was taking care of her. The lady was an 85 year old who was taking care of a bunch of outside cats. And she had them spayed and she had them neutered. And food was always readily available. But other than that, there wasn't any vet care. And, um, the neighbors, uh, friends of ours, noticed how <coughs> extremely thin she was. And in all honesty, I think if she'd have been out there another 24 hours, Mowgli would not have made it. She was so emaciated and so dehydrated. She was in pretty bad shape when she came. And she couldn't eat at, very well at all then. And uh, so we, we pumped her up and fed her very, very slowly by her mouth and then um, gave her lots of fluids to help her get rehydrated and just loved her a whole, whole, whole bunch. And then as time went on, we were hoping that it wasn't cancer in her mouth. We were hoping it was some kind of caustic problem. Connie, can you be kidding me? But as things progressed, it became really obvious that we were all hoping up the wrong tree and that it was cancer, is cancer. So um, we got the feeding tube put in. And she, do you see her when we feed her? She goes right up there on the couch. She can be sleeping. I'll ask her, are you hungry? And she'll come down and she sits. I always play her music. <clears throat> she always, always has music when she gets her tube feeding. And she just sits and lets me do it. She's probably the best cat in the whole wide world to ever. Uh, <laughs> what are you saying? Are you serious? Are you serious? I love her. Grumpiness or no. And look at her fur. It's so much cleaner, pretty. She's got the prettiest face, but I know she doesn't have long with us. And so whatever time she has left with us, I wanted her to know she definitely has a family. She will be out here mostly because I'm out here all the time. I'm out here way, way, way more than what I am inside. But she is officially Mowgli Moss. <laughs> yeah, she'll be staying out here. Yeah, if I was inside even half the time, I'd take her in, but but I'm not. I'm out here far more than what I am inside, so my cats tell me. This is Mowgli when she first came in. And she, she has some parts of her that are growing fur back. She's just so unique. I just love her face. So I have one more kitty, and I did talk to Zelda before this, and she said it was okay that I, if I adopted Mowgli. She would share, as long as Mowgli did not share boxes. That was not gonna happen, Mo um, Zelda said. 
Oh, yes, her name is definitely Mowgli. Yeah. I also wanted to tell you that the adoption that um, was supposed to happen for Hatima is not going to happen, right now at least. I don't know if you all saw the, the lady that was here yesterday, late afternoon, and... Um, yeah, she was here just late afternoon, maybe a little bit early afternoon, but um, she came all the way from Maine, and she's such a wonderful lady. Her name is Karen, K-A-R-E-N, unlike my daughter, and uh, she was supposed to be here last week, and last weekend, and she had <laughs> major, major between a hotel and um, her plane, and then her the taxi services, car service, everything got really messed up at the end. So instead of stressing about it, I said, just just wait till this weekend. So she went ahead and remade all of her plans. And lo and behold, when she got to the airport, things were messed up again. She did make it here, but her flight on the way back was kind of iffy in a couple places. And... <clears throat> And um, so it was decided that this was not a good thing to do for Hatima. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. I'm not sure if it'll for sure go through or, or what will happen. Um, so right now Hatima's here, Hatima's staying, and we'll just keep on loving her. All right, so anybody have any questions? I got a couple minutes before I have to go in. Kids are coming in for French toast and sausage breakfast, I think is what Steve's making. Oh, they, they thought you were gonna be adopted. I keep hoping. <laughs> yeah, you never know, you know, things happen and you just don't always know what, what is gonna end up being. And also, Monique was going to be leaving. Or, I'm sorry, not Monique. Um, Monroe was going to be leaving this week. And I must have completely misunderstood that. She, they, were, they made um, plans to be here to visit Monroe. And they have a very, very busy um, next two weeks, lots of um, traveling. And so they will be coming, uh, I think it's the last Saturday of May to pick her up. She is still going with them. They love her. That little girl that's going to be in her life, she's just a short little thing, just a young little girl. She is awesome with the kitties. Just really good girl. And, and Monroe likes her a whole lot already. <laughs> Sonia. Oh, this cat's would adopt you. Oh, you are, Aww. I feel so sorry for you. And so would Jim. Okay, you know how many cats I come with? <laughs> She's got boatload too. <laughs> that was normal when I started. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't last long, did it? <laughs> oh, gosh. This is Kim, though, that, um, the team was fake. I'm not sure if I did mention that this morning. I should have told oh, you her. Would, you yeah. would circle her because she really Yeah, I know. She loves her. Yeah, I'll have to send her a text. Oh, Paw Paw. Yeah. He's he's really cool, isn't oh Daisy, yeah, you know what? He would he would be happy with you. Yeah. The last Saturday. I have it. Down for the 25th. For the 25th. <laughs> Are you little box broke? Sometimes. No. Oh. <laughs> as long as I don't laugh real hard. <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> oh, honey, come here. Are the mom, is the mama down back there now? Yes, you know. So Connie switched the se seven babies and Mama with her five babies, they're down on the floor now. Mama and the five. Yeah, catching them babies isn't as easy as one would think. Yeah. Them are little rascals. Yeah, they need some more, yeah, more hands do. on. I yep. thought they were okay until yeah. I tried to catch them. They were coming. 
All right, well, I guess I'm going to head in then if you guys are all set. And I will be back out later and talk to you all later. <laughs> Don't let Connie near any open windows. Other than that, she's pretty good. Or fire. Don't let her around fire. <sighs> Couple little bit mistakes. She's a fire starter. Open windows on one story. <laughs> one story house, and I'd still get her. <laughs> um, Ollie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, your bruises. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, Ollie and Dino, or Ollie slash Dino is still leaving today, and then he has a big important day on um, Tuesday, so keep him in your good thoughts and prayers. He, he's going up for the horoscopy. And they will probably get some good results on that day. Um, I don't want the, them to come up yet because they're still a little bit shy. My trip to Shipshawana is a week from tomorrow. Stephen, I'll be gone for two nights. Don't yell at me. They're here. All right, thanks, everybody. Here, let's put you over here. Go down, not up. Good morning, Grace. Says no. Hi, babe. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, Oh, you know, cold, cold. I know it. Oh, I'm so tired of this. Can we just get some sunshine, we please? Need, we need sunshine. I.